All right, here with Ocean Lakes head football coach Joe Jones, his team's preseason scrimmage at the Virginia Beach Sports Place against the Manchester Lancers, a couple of Class 6 top 10 teams, and figure to be playing deep in the postseason, uh, Thanksgiving and beyond, perhaps, Coach. Um, certainly, you know, Coach Tom Hall, a good friend of yours. Um, you guys uh, knew going in they were really talented, and uh, what did you come away with thinking about your squad and theirs? Well, absolutely. We knew they, they have a good team. Uh, like you said, Tom and I are great friends, and we vacation together a lot. And, I knew the kind of team he had, and for us to try to reach the, the, uh, you know, the end goals that we have at the end of the season and all, uh, I felt it was going to be good for us to play a team of their caliber to know how we need to play, yeah. how physical we need to play, how fast we need to play, how consistent we need to play. Mm -hmm. And we absolutely got all of that. We, we knew what kind of team they had. Uh, you know, I thought our guys at times, uh, we played toe-to-toe, -to -toe, played with them, did a lot of good things, um, you know, but when you play good teams like this and you make mistakes and you jump off sides or you drop passes, you pay for it. You pay for it more so against the good teams, the really good teams. And uh, so, to me, we got out of this what I wanted to get out of this. Just a good, hard, physical football game. We knew they played fast. Uh, you know, they're very athletic, got a great quarterback. And, uh, you know, they're stingy on defense, so we moved the ball well at times offensively and made some plays downfield. We just got to get more consistent like here on both sides of the ball, and, and that'll happen. Now we got a taste of it. We know what we need to get to. Everything is to prepare for Kellen next week. Certainly, and sort of finishing drives. And you had some guys out with some injuries. I know Jordan Green was one of them, Christian Williams, I believe another. Was it at linebacker? Uh, yeah, Cam Williams. Cam Williams. And, yeah, and Jordan. And yeah. Cam's really had – they're both having a great uh, preseason. Yeah. You know, if it was a regular season game, they probably could have played. But, you know, next Friday is more important than tonight. Plus, we got a chance to see some other guys to see if they could step up and, yeah. and next man up. Well, that to me was the, the positive of the night for you was defensive against a uh, up-tempo offense. Got a quarterback on Notre Dame and some weapons. You guys, the first couple series, didn't let them get in the end zone. Right. I mean, they right. got some points after that, had a pick six. but And we don't, we, you know, with a short week of two real days of practice, but we practice against each other. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we kind of walked through the, the odd front. We, it's the first we'd seen an odd front defense. So that was something new, and we didn't. We didn't game plan this week yeah. in the scrimmage. We just kept doing what we do at practice and adjusting on the fly. But it won't you know, next it won't week like we'll put our time in and we'll game plan. And, and uh, you know, that's going to help an awful lot. We'll get a couple guys back. We lost uh, Christian Gray, banged up his knee tonight. We'll see how he is next week when we get him back. But, uh, you know, we just, uh, we just need to keep working it. Just need to keep working and getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Was there one or two? I know you'll evaluate the film and get a better idea yeah. of what the guys that stood out. But was there one or two guys that maybe you came with was like a, a pleasant surprise for the night, either offensively or defensively? And stuff well, like I think off, I think Miles Olsen made some nice catches. Uh, some only a big, sophomore. Yeah, yeah, only a sophomore, and you know he lived up to the billing. And you know we kind of told the guys when we uh, when we uh, you know when the whole idea again. In this it was to see how we would react and we'd get punched in the mouth a little bit to see if we're going to punch back, and at times we did. Um, see, for Miles, uh, you know, we, we, we uh, defensively, Eli Snowden, a guy, I mean, yeah, both Eli, ways. Yeah, Eli, Snowden, yeah. Eli Snowden had a good night and plays both ways. And, you know, we want to get some guys consistently playing one side of the ball so we don't have to play them full time both ways. Yeah. And that's going to help us. Uh, Tremendously, but uh, you know I have to wait. I just <laughs> top of my head. Uh, other than Miles making some catches downfield, uh, you know we got some guys that are going to make plays and, and get better and learn from this and take it into next week. Well, let's finish up on these two, and I thank you for your time. Um, yeah. A couple of guys back, and I know we're limited with some plays. Jake Lowe on offense for your running yeah. back, yeah. and Tank Land going both ways, wide receiver, defensive back, yes. I mean, uh, defensive back for you. Those two guys can be game changers for you. Absolutely. Um, back in the Ocean Lakes uniform, what's kind of been the sense from them in practice, and now as you go into the season with those two guys? Oh, it's great having them back, because if you look at it, at the guys we lost last year at, at running back and some receivers, and at defensive back and linebacker, and those two guys fit yeah. both sides of the ball slots. And, uh, you know, they're, they, they've, the last two years they've been playing against some really good competition. And, you know, that helps them coming into this because we had some guys today that were kind of new to Friday night football <laughs> and especially getting the wake up call to play a team like Manchester. So, uh, you know, overall, that's going to help us. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for quality depth so we can 
spell guys and not have to play them full time both ways. And that's going to help us in the long run. And finally, you know, you got Kellum up next. That's your, your singular focus. But um, I thought your kids were a little juiced to play a Manchester team who's you recognize in the state. You guys yeah. got to the uh, region semifinals last year, have championship aspirations, and really you don't get that measuring stick, you know, because the beach is being right, a 10 game right, schedule until the right. postseason where you may see an Oscars for somebody. Um, What's kind of the feeling of this group? I mean, have you been? Has there been a lot of talk amongst them of the let's go further with last year? We kind of yeah. had things turned around and championship is the top. Absolutely, or? absolutely, it has been. We feel like we got the personnel to uh, go as far as, as we want to go, and uh, you know we have to continue to just keep working hard at getting better. We, we stress every rep, get better every rep, and uh, you know that's it is good playing a team like Manchester because uh, and last week playing Indian River. And, and heritage, but uh, especially Indian River, you know, they're a team that's favored in, in Division Five. Mm -hmm. So you only get better playing people that uh, are quality. And like I told our guys, uh, you know, we, we come into this, if we come into a game with Manchester, we're going to be the underdog, there's yeah. no doubt. And we got to see how, how, what kind of fight we have in this. So it is a good measuring stick for us to know where we need to be, because I went last year. After the Oscar Smith game the next week, I went to Colonial Forge to watch Manchester play Colonial Forge and, you know, to see the level they play at. And this is only going to help us in the long run. Absolutely. We'll be watching. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Appreciate Thank it. you. Absolutely. Good seeing you. Yep.